Welcome back to the Janik Journal. It's been a long time since we've had a video, but we got a guest mower in the house today. So we got Pat and Ryan, a couple guys that race with us, GPs in uh, New England Lawnmower Race Racing Association. Yep. And uh, we're just gonna address some steering issues on this. So let's show you what we got going on. So what we got is not much turning to the right. So counter steering's tough and a lot of turning to the left. Um, also the ratio is, I don't know, we're not sure if we like the ratio or not. So basically what we're gonna do is set up, set up a center steer system. Uh, instead of the uh, off of this spindle here like it is now um, So we'll see it should be pretty easy being that the pitman arms are in front um, Should be should be pretty simple. So we'll do it just like the other mowers All right, so we're just gonna figure out our center line right now and we're gonna put in our our center pivot We got some uh, steel tubing some round tubing. We're gonna we're gonna figure out So let me do a little black on black here and see if we can figure that out and uh, Pretty much. Yeah, we're just gonna set up our center pivot now So right now we got the hole drilled, frames cleaned up and everything as you might have seen. Um, so one thing we're trying to figure out is we want to leave, we don't want to have the shaft and everything sticking up through the frame. Right now this is a single cylinder GP but in the future it might be a twin cylinder. Um, so we want to we want to account for the exhaust that might be uh, on a V-twin. So we want to leave it all below this level here. So our goal is to have this shaft collar just pretty much sitting flush with the top of the motor plate. piece of tubing cut to the length we're going to look for. Um, what this is is inch and a half outside diameter, one and three eighths inside diameter, and that fits perfect with standard bearings for a five eighths bore. Um, we got the flange style so they don't, you know, go in too far. So pretty much that's it. This is going to be, we're going to mount this tube on there, and this is going to be our pivot point. This shaft is just for mock-up. This isn't going to be actually what we're using. So we're going to go ahead and weld this in place. We we're drilling out these parts here. These are going to be our new uh, pitman arms. Um, what we did was we used some of the geometry from my old mowers and pretty much copied it pretty close. So um, we're going to look to have the same ratios. So we're going to go ahead and weld these things on a shaft and we're getting there. Next up is going to be setting up the tie rods. All right, so we went ahead and welded those arms on there and you can see we got just the right clearance for that 3 8 bolt head underneath the frame. Just enough clearance and then our heim joint is going to be below that. So next we got to set up our we got to set up our tie rods to go from the center to out to the spindles. So we're going to go up to cut and thread those. So this is pretty much the finished result here. Um, we got all these these rods retapped. Luckily, they already had the left hand tappings done on them, so we just had to uh, do the right hand tap coming to length. 
but it's looking pretty good. We do need to adjust a little bit. Um, some of the heim joints seem to be spaced and some of the rods are a little tiny bit long, so they'll have to be trimmed, but it's pretty much what we're looking for. Um, we got good right hand turn. Left hand turn is limited just because of the stop angle we got. We, we'll adjust that, but um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. It wasn't too bad, a couple hours work. So that's gonna do it for the video. We're gonna try to bring you guys some good racing content this year. Um, I know I've said that before, but uh, I think this year it's gonna happen. We gotta get some, some good racing action content out there. So stay tuned for that. Maybe I'll throw in some YouTube shorts, you know, just try to keep a trickle of videos going. Catch you guys next time.